Yo, what is going on guys? Dylan Murray here and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003 for race 35 to 36. Two races left. Today we're going to be at the Phoenix International Raceway, probably one of my favorite one mile tracks in racing for the running the Checker Auto Parts 500. We have a 480 point lead over Dale Jarrett. We basically had this championship on lock. Um, it was hard. I expected it to be kind of like NASCAR 04 with you know, me having the championship, you know, 10 races in or, you know, 15 race, 15, 16 races in and all that. This game actually put up quite a fight, <laughs> surprisingly. So, uh, anyways, today's scheme, we're going to be running the regular Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. So we're going to run this scheme for this race, and let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm curious to see how qualifying is going to go here. If we we'll get another pull, if we're going to start like the ass end of traffic. Um, Phoenix International Raceway, banking banked 9 to 11 degrees in the corners. Um, winner's purse pays a pretty nice two hundred thirteen thousand dollars, and this place for, ran its first cup race in nineteen eighty eight, and seats seventy six thousand eight hundred twelve people. And the track record was set on November third of two thousand by Rusty Wallace. Coming to take the green now. Down the back, then into three, and try to do everything we can to maybe get a good lap. We get a decent-ish runoff for maybe, okay, 17th. We'll take it. We'll take 17th. Fun fact, some guy got killed with this old layout because of how open the dog leg is before they close up the wall for 2003. Somebody actually got killed on that layout in a modified race. I should know because my dad used to race down here. And 13th. Okay. Great start. Um, we just beat our personal record just now. Maybe their luck will change today. Oh, no. 
All right, different paint schemes. Looks like. And I think there's. Unless somebody brought their Taz 1, I didn't see any. Um, which I don't think that's going to be the case. Jimmy Spencer gets yet another pull, surprisingly. Um, yeah, so going to look through the field. This place was a one mile, initially going to be a one mile open wheel test, open wheel facility for the IndyCar series. With, in fact, they do race here even today with the uh, Diamond in the Desert race. Um, just a shame today this place looks so different than compared to normal Phoenix how it is today, especially since they're going to be, since they are going to be doing a total revamp of that track. Which I'm actually, which means the start finish line is going to be sort of in that center dog leg, kind of where uh, everybody's passing by now, and the back stretch will be the old front stretch. So they're going to pull a Darlington basically once uh, everything gets rebuilt. Right next to Kyle Petty. 15 laps, Valley of the Sun, and it's time to bring the action. Wow, this time Jimmy Spencer actually gets a good, is going to lead the first lap here. It looks like uh, Gordon tried going to the outside. Rusty Wallace is going to look in this second. Oh, shit. Um, sorry about that, John and Dreddy. <laughs> and try to get by Casey Atwood. Oh, almost pinned him a little bit. Coming off of uh, four or two. Sorry, two. I'm getting. And Rusty Wallace is going to take the lead. Jeff Gordon's in second. Remember, Rusty Wallace actually won this race in 1998. Probably won, and he won one of two Rain Shorten Phoenix races. Um, Dale Jr. won the Rain Short, controversial Rain Shorten race here in 2015 when the race was delayed literally seven freaking hours. And it was a complete bore fest. And I mean a complete or fest. Um, gonna, wow, we pushed Rusty Wolf it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow, we basically just borderline pushed Rusty Wallace out of the way. Rusty gets up on the dog leg, gets a little loose. He, he saves it. I'm going to try to... Get some points here. Actually lead more than three laps. Side by side for the lead with Gordon. Cross under him. Looks like Rusty Wallace is going to try to join the win the fight. Looks like people are actually actually pitting already. I'm going to try pit when one of those two pit. One of, if not both of those cars pit, which looks to be the case, unless uh, they're going to go. All NASCAR 15 on us and run the entire race on one tank of fuel. Number two, it's still there. Stay focused. You can leave 
Oh, Gordon aborts late. Gordon does a nice fake out on pit road late just before he was going to come in. Just before he come, he was going to come into pit road, it looks like. You see John Andre is going to peel in. We come out first. This, oh, Jesus. And Rusty Wallace just brought out the first caution. I think I might have screwed myself, maybe. No. With I might be a lot down. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're all in the lead lap. Green flag back into the air. I'm gonna check how intervals and all this fight works. I'm guessing anybody from Johnson up up upwards has, sorry craven up has not hit it and it looks like they're getting ready to hit anyway so we might be getting our lap back here or in real deep sterling marlin is our current leader right now park gets into the wall Hopefully we can try to net our 10th win of the year. Going to go under Gordon and Sadler. I'm, it seems like I'm literally pushing Robbie Gordon out of the way. And Robbie Gordon got is into the wall. Five laps to go here at Phoenix. Sterling Marlin is your leader. We just got our lap back. Marlin crosses over. We're going to need a caution if we want to get to him. Jeff Gordon leads. Always oh, honest. Uh, looks like there's a car down on pit road with a blown motor. Gordon trying to put us a lap down, it looks like. And unless a bunch of people pit, I think Gordon's got this. I don't think he pit. And speaking of which, the leader just crashed. And big pile up behind me, behind me. Just as the caution comes out, and it's also just what I needed. Even I don't want to wreck him, but I've, I feel bad. I legitimately feel bad. I've basically bullied Jeff Gordon all season. I don't know why. He's one of my favorite drivers. And I've bullied him like all year. Two to go here at Phoenix. White flag is out. Steve Park and Jeff Gordon with a lot of damage. Tire wear, bruh. 
And in a one-lap restart, looks like Jeff Purvis is about to win this race. And off the wall. And a re I wreck coming across the line. <laughs> Definitely a bang-up job. Ah, there. I wreck coming across the line. Thanks, Jimmy Johnson. So, yeah. So, yeah, Jeff freaking Purvis has just won this race. <laughs> uh, Sterling Marlin finishes second, Craven third, Kenseth fourth, Greg Biffle fifth. Um, I got her lap back, but it wasn't enough, um, apparently. Ryan Newman sixth, Robbie Gordon seventh, Jeremy Mayfield eighth, Johnny Benson, ninth, and Elliot Sadler, <laughs> Damn. Six leaders, uh, just under 12 minutes. Margin victory, 0.13, one through one thousandths of a second. So Jeff Purvis told all the top teams to go, go suck one, and I can run good too, just by doing this. Damn. <laughs> Something I wish Virtual wrote in 2007. Something I wish Furniture freaking Roe did. Anyways, one final race. And I believe I have this championship. So, Dale Jarrett is in second, 488 back. Jeff Gordon is in third, 559 back. Mark Martin is in fourth, 771 back. Dale Jr. is in fifth, 829 points back. Matt Kenseth is in sixth, 961 back. Tony Stewart is in seventh, 1,039 points back. Kevin Harvick is in eighth, 1,072 points back. And uh, Bobby Labonte is in ninth, 1,080 points back. And Jimmy Johnson is in tenth. 1,105 back. Do you see which race did Harvick win again? Win again. Oh, he won Dover. I forgot. I'm an idiot. I won this race, but let's just say, since the game didn't save for some reason, let's just say that was encumbered. These were serious. This has been a fairly entertaining season, but tune in tomorrow at, at, one, at noon for Homestead. And then tune in Saturday for the shootouts. And then that'll be the end of this Let's Play. Unless I decide to do the whole IOP Cup Series get up. See you next time. <laughs>